Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will tell you about the health benefits of Saccharomyces boulardii. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for updates. Saccharomyces boulardii is a probiotic yeast with proven benefits for human health. Number 1. Diarrhea Formula with S. boulardii shortened diarrhea duration in infants and allowed quicker weight regain than a standard formula. S. boulardii significantly reduces the frequency and duration of acute diarrhea in children. This probiotic is well tolerated. It also often reduces the length of ECU and hospital stay in acute infectious gastroenteritis in children. S. boulardii also decreases the duration and frequency of diarrhea, ameliorates abdominal pain in adults, and shortens the hospital stay in patients with acute infectious diarrhea. Some studies report that S. boulardii is not effective in preventing the development of antibiotic-associated diarrhea. However, many studies do in fact show that S. boulardii is effective in reducing the risk of antibiotic-associated diarrhea in both children and adults. S. boulardii was also found to prevent travelers diarrhea particularly in regions such as North Africa and in the Near East. S. boulardii is considered safe to administer to children who have acute diarrhea. Number 2. Bacterial, parasitic and fungal infections. S. boulardii reduced E. coli numbers in children. It suppressed B. hominis infection in children as efficiently as mitronidazole. S. boulardii also effectively improved giardiasis when combined with metronidazole therapy in adult patients. The addition of S. boulardii to metronidazole in amoebiasis significantly decreases the duration of bloody diarrhea and enhances clearance of cysts in children, and decreases the duration of symptoms and cyst passage in adults. S. boulardii increased survival rate, protected against liver damage, and inhibited the translocation of bacteria in mice infected with a typhoid fever. In cells, S. boulardii decreases C. albicans adhesion and reduces cytokine-mediated inflammatory host response. In a study of preterm infants, prophylactic S. boulardii supplementation was as effective as nystatin in reducing fungal colonization and invasive fungal infection and more effective in reducing the incidence of clinical sepsis and the number of sepsis attacks. It also had a favorable effect on feeding intolerance in very low birth weight infants. Number 3. Immunity S. boulardii enhanced the immune response in a study of children with pediatric acute gastroenteritis. Oral treatment with viable or heat-killed cells of S. boulardii maintains the intestinal integrity and modulates the immune system in mice, preventing bacterial translocation and intestinal lesions. Treatment with S. boulardii decreased microbial translocation and inflammation parameters in HIV-1-infected patients with long-term biologic suppression. Number 4. Feeding tolerance in infants Prophylactic supplementation of S. boulardii improved weight gain and feeding tolerance and had no adverse effects in preterm infants over 30 weeks old. Orally administered S. boulardii reduced feeding intolerance and clinical sepsis in very low birth weight infants. Number 5. Cardiovascular disease. In a small study of 12 patients, Daily supplementation with S. boulardii lowered remnant lipoprotein in hypercholesterolemic adults, a predictive biomarker and potential therapeutic target in the treatment and prevention of coronary artery disease. Number 6. Antibiotic associated diarrhea. S. boulardii is resistant to antibiotics and can be successfully used alongside antibiotics. The effectiveness of S. boulardii for the prevention of antibiotic side effects has been demonstrated in a number of human clinical trials and meta-analysis. In a study of 193 patients, administration of S. boulardii 1 gram per day 
from the beginning of antibiotic treatment and continued for three days after the course significantly prevented the occurrence of diarrhea compared to placebo. In another study of 338 patients taking antibiotics, esbulardii, 200 mg per day, significantly reduced the incidence of diarrhea compared to placebo. The addition of esbulardii, 250 mg per day, to antibiotic treatment in children with otitis media and or respiratory tract infections also significantly reduced the incidence of diarrhea compared to placebo. Number 7. Inflammatory Bowel Disease Esbulardii may be a useful treatment for the maintenance treatment of Crohn's disease. In patients with Crohn's disease in clinical remission, the addition of esbulardii, 1 gram per day, to standard therapy, the drug mesalamine, resulted in fewer clinical relapses compared to mesalamine alone. In a group of six ulcerative colitis patients who could not tolerate mesalamine, treatment with esbulardii, 500 mg in the morning, plus rifaximin, 400 mg in the evening, for three months resulted in persistent clinical remission. Number 8. Candida albicans. Candida albicans is an opportunistic pathogen that causes intestinal infections in immunocompromised patients. It may also translocate into the bloodstream and cause systemic candidiasis. Esbulardii produces capric, caprylic and caproic acids which can help to prevent the proliferation of candida yeasts. The 2010 study published in FEMS Microbiology Letters found that esbulardii helps to reduce candida adhesion and also lowers the cytokine-mediated inflammatory host response. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video and would like to hear more from us, please subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you so much for watching us.